I was talking to my best friend from high school the other day, and she told me that the person that bullied me the most when I was growing up died. And I was like, oh my god. It's like, you didn't think that I knew my mom died? I, uh, I just celebrated an anniversary recently. I am one year sober. I am from Wisconsin, so that is a miracle. Uh, they just did a survey of the 50 drunkest counties in all of the United States, and 41 of them are in Wisconsin. <laughs> So the map was color-coded. It was red if you were one of the drunkest counties and blue if you weren't. So Wisconsin was just red with a blue spot in the middle. And I was like, I didn't know that we had a sober county. So I zoomed in and uh, it was a lake. <laughs> People are pretty close-minded where I'm from though. Where am I from exactly? My house. Uh, My dad was a little homophobic when I was growing up. And by that I mean he was homophobic. <laughs> and he told me this, he said, Brittany, homophobia saved my life. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna need more information. <laughs> and he told me this story, he was at a bar and a guy came up to him and grabbed his ass. And instead of my dad being open to his sexual journey, he punched him in the throat. And then two weeks later, my dad's friends called him and they were like, Charlie, turn on the TV. The guy you punched in the throat is on TV. And my dad turned on the TV and it was Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Maybe that's not a joke. Maybe that's just a story about how my dad's cooler than your dad. And he's out there doing the Lord's work. <laughs> like, we know Jeffy for his 17 kills, but we don't know how many rednecks cold cocked him in the fucking neck. <laughs> so after he told me that story, I was like, Dad, what were you doing at a gay bar? <laughs> and I was like, now might not be the time for me to tell you this, but I'm bisexual. And he punched me in the throat. <laughs> so that's how my Thanksgiving went. I was talking to my best friend from high school the other day and she told me that the person that bullied me the most when I was growing up died. And I was like, oh my God. It's like, you didn't think that I knew my mom died? And she did kill herself. And, and you guys not laughing at these jokes won't bring her back to life. <laughs> when she was alive, she was never any fun, but her final act was a blast. Some of you guys are getting tight because you're thinking, you're thinking about your mom dying, who might be a pretty nice lady. But I'm here to tell you that assholes die too, you know? People came to my mom's funeral and they're like, your mom was fierce. I'm like, Beyonce is fierce. My mom was a cunt. Why do you think I'm here on Zoom? When I was young, she was always obsessed with being the hottest mom. She had big fake tits and an eating disorder. And she would send me and my sister to school with slim fast shakes and a brown paper bag for our lunch. That was our whole lunch. And then she had the audacity to be mad at me when I became an alcoholic. I was like, bitch, I've been training for this my whole life. <laughs> and anytime you tell anyone about any type of abuse, they like to say, it could have been worse. 
and it could have been, but I would have taken a right hook any day for a Lunchable. <laughs> the good news is my mom did finally reach her goal weight when she was cremated. She wanted to be a hot mom. You guys, she is the hottest. <laughs> I live in LA, so I do woo-woo shit. I, uh, I have a clairvoyant. And for those of you who don't know what a clairvoyant is, it's somebody that communicates with the other side. And I was talking to him the other day, and he said, your mom's spirit is restless and she wants to come back down to earth. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and he said, in three years, you're gonna get pregnant and she is going to reincarnate as your child. <laughs> and I was like, all right, so what I'm hearing you say <laughs> is in three years, I'm having an abortion. She got her the first time, I'm gonna get her the second time. I'm just Googling, I'm like, when does the soul enter the fetus? You know? <laughs> Gotta hit her with the fucking kill shot. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want kids. Uh, which is a bummer for my dad. There's nothing he wants more than a grandchild. You know, he's very pro-life, and I'm very pro-my life, which uh, doesn't include kids. And I think the pro-life logic is interesting because they think that abortion is murder, which is fine. But by that logic, our miscarriage is suicide. And I know, I know a lot of you want me to kill that joke. <laughs> but I think there's life there, and when there's life, there's hope. <laughs> I know I've been joking a lot about suicide, but in all seriousness, uh, September was Suicide Awareness Month, so in case you guys missed it, I just want you all to be aware it's an option. <laughs> All right, you guys have been a lot of fun. I'm Brittany Schmidt, thank you so much. <laughs>